Hey guys, um, today I just wanted to talk to you about uh, one of the resources I'm using to learn Java. So I'm really excited about this resource. Uh, there are like little like uh, nitpick issues here and there, but for the most part, the JetBrains Academy um, uh, Java Tract has been teaching me a lot about the fundamentals of Java. So I kind of already knew um, a little, uh, a lot of Python and JavaScript. So I have a little bit of that programming background. Um, I know a decent amount of Go, but I could be better there, and then Java. Um, because I know like Python, JavaScript, like like some of the, the same underlying concepts are transferred over here, so it makes it a little bit easier to learn. But the thing I like about this uh, whole platform is like, the ability to like just go through these different lessons and uh, like really learn fundamentals, like how to use like certain data structures, how to program certain things, how to do simple like I/O operations, what the standard libraries and classes are. Um, they do it in a really smart way where everything's project based. So, like, you have to pa pass certain activities, exercises, or projects to um, go to certain lessons. So, I think that really forces you to think about the problem and solve it. And also, they just have an awesome uh, uh, knowledge map of what you're going to be learning. So, you can see what I've done so far, a lot of the basics and I'm building up to more complicated skills. So right now I'm just learning about like simple for loops, data structures, typecasting, like how important typing is in Java, and then I'll soon be getting into like algorithms, standard classes, IO, things like that, and object-oriented programming. So I think this is just a really great resource. Um, uh, I, I get like a month free trial on here, and I think you guys do too. I'm um, not sponsored by this, uh, um, this platform at all. I just think it's a great resource if you're um, diving into this particular language. Um, and then I will be using this to uh, essentially um, help me learn the basics enough to complete my raft consensus uh, protocol uh, projects I had mentioned earlier. Uh, so I just want to show you kind of like one of the exercises I finished for uh, one of the sub stages or modules for the flashcards project. Um, you can see here that uh, you kind of learn how to do certain things. I've become very familiar from this course with the scanner library. So basically, if you think about this in like Python terms, it's just basically user input through the terminal or command line and then saving it to a certain variable. One big thing I learned in Java is the importance of uh, typing. So um, how each uh, variable, whether you declare it or instantiate it, um, it has to have a certain type. And then uh, you have different modifiers or accessors for those variables. So you can see here you have private, public. Um, you have to return certain variables like string or void, depending on how you use the particular methods. Uh, but yeah, it's been a really fun ride, and I can't wait to go through some of this. So I'm basically going to spend this weekend going through as much of the rest of this uh, knowledge map or program um, uh, today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And hopefully I have like a good foundation, but a uh, really good platform. just want to share that, and uh, I can't wait to build more awesome stuff with uh, Java. And I think they'll help out for future job prospects too. So hopefully um, I, I can show you kind of some of the kind of cool things I've built in Java uh, soon next week, uh, next, week next, next week's videos. But I hope you have a good day, and thank you for tuning in.